Jason at Loud in the Jiffy Lube 300. As you go into the second half of the year, you've got four top tens under your belt. What are your goals and uh, realistic aspirations for the second half? Well, obviously, I'm a Wallace. And I'm used to winning in the Bush Series. So, uh, you know, uh, it's it's been a, a new situation for me. Uh, you know, I, I came down uh, I got, I'm from the Midwest, came down and uh, accomplished a lot in ASA, accomplished a lot in the Bush Series. So now I'm in a, I'm in a new deal. So uh, I want to win races. Uh, but, you know, it's been tough going in the, in the Winston Cup Series. Like you said, I've only got four top tens. The team's been really competitive. It's just that it seems up like we're not competitive every week. And that's what we've got to do. But, um, hey, this is the biggest series in the world. I mean, this is Winston Cup racing. And if you're not Winston Cup racing, I mean, you're in the Bush Grand National Series, which is a great division, or the Truck Series. But uh, this is the big time. So it's not easy. And um, I can tell you that, you know, our goal every week is to win. But if we can bring home a top 10 like we did last week, you know, uh, that's what we're looking for. Last week was even scary. We were running a, we were running ninth and trying to uh, catch Kyle Petty for eighth, and uh, we run out of gas. And uh, I, uh, the very last lap, um, it, it died coming off the of turn two. I put it in neutral and coasted around, and then I uh, had to have a photo replay with me and Bobby Labonte, and I beat him by about three quarters of a car length. So. Uh, you know, uh, my goal is to win every week, but uh, top ten is what what's make what makes me content to go to the next racetrack. He mentioned, uh, like being a Wallace, he likes to win. You and Rusty and Mike, you always seem to have a good time when you're out here. You're real competitive. We saw you hamming it up with Rusty yesterday on uh, TBS with uh, our driver, Mr. No Bull, Jimmy Spencer. You and Rusty, do you have a, a, a good competition? Is it a brother one-upsmanship? How does that work with you guys? Well, it works real good as long as I don't beat him. You know, I mean, that's the way, the way it is. No, Rusty's a, Rusty's a great brother, and so is Mike. They've both been really good to me, and vice versa. You know, um, because I'm the youngest one, I, I spent a long time building their race cars and helping them get going. So uh, uh, Rusty has paid me back, you know, ten times, and then, uh, you know, he was the one who got me my first Bush Grand National ride. Uh, I started racing on my own in ASA in the Midwest, building all the race cars, and... Uh, you know, Rusty made it possible for me to come down. And, of course, my brother Mike, I ran a lot of dirt racing with him. Uh, of course, I'm not a dirt driver, but I built a lot of his dirt cars in the Midwest. And uh, Mike ran good yesterday in the truck series, but he had a right front flat, and uh, he was leading. Rusty's run strong here. I'm doing good. You know, uh, the biggest thing is, is to get all three brothers running good on the same weekend. That's really hard to do. So, um, you know, Rusty, uh, Rusty wants me to run good, but he's like any competitor. He, he doesn't want me to outrun him. But... I'm sure both of us would love to see it come down, you know, to me and him just once, just to, it would be awesome, you know, it would just be something that, uh, it, that would be nice for both of us to be able to race each other. Trade and paint? Trade and paint, yeah, well, he, last year we, we ran into that little deal over there at Martinsville where uh, I held him up for quite a while because I was running second and I wasn't giving down and uh, he hit me in the left rear and I just loved it, I did it, it was pretty cool, so uh, there's a difference between trade and paint and put, putting you out, you know, and uh, we were trading some paint, and it was having a good time. Anybody saw the bush race last night knows what putting it out is. Um, <laughs> don't be bashful here. Questions for Kenny. He's a good guy. He'll answer just about anything. What do you stand on making a two-car team? Just hooking up with somebody else or, or starting your own little second team? Or? Question from the audience is, uh, Kenny is a member of a single-car team right now. Uh, what are your plans? Do you have any multi-car team aspirations? Is there anything in the works right now that uh, might assist you down the road? Yeah, we've, we've got some things... Uh, you know, going right now, um, hopefully towards the end of August, I'll be able to, you know, announce those things. Uh, they're going to be pretty substantial, pretty big change. Uh, they won't be a subtle change. And I, I feel like uh, my team has been great. I've been with them for five years, and I've got to put myself in a situation where I can try something different. I've been, you know, in the 30th in the points the last two years, and I'm, you know, I'm good and I'm bad and I'm good and I'm bad. And, uh, Hell, I even confuse myself at times. You know, I'll, I need to be more consistent. So, uh, you know, um, we're going to try something a little bit different next year. Uh, and it's going to it's going to be what I think I need to to make my career be better. Uh,
Here you are.